live from uh, Capture Summit in CFX 2025, presented by Church Tech U. It's the Pro Presenter Show. On today's show, um, some stuff you need to know about Pro Presenter version 20. Hi, and welcome again to the Pro Presenter Show. This is the show where I teach all about Pro Presenter. My name is Paul Allen Clifford. Normally, I have a lower third, but I'm recording this kind of on the fly. Um, here at the Capture Summit, and so I thought that I would share just a couple of things that you need to know about ProPresenter version 20. So, Renewed Vision has said that uh, ProPresenter version 20 will work with the latest version of macOS. Um, it's not officially supported, but it does work. So, that's one thing that you should know. Not officially supported, but does work. But before you get too excited and update, keep in mind that as I'm recording this, uh, it is, let me check my Apple Watch, it is the 24th of September, 2025. And so as of today, if you have a DeckLink card, then Sonoma does not necessarily work with desktop video. As of right now, could be that has changed in the last couple of days. I've been at this uh, conference, so I don't know if it's changed or not. So that's one thing for you to keep in mind. Keep an eye to that. Speaking of the DeckLink card, by the way, this is also the case for the Ultra Studio uh, Monitor 3G. So whether it's a DeckLink card or an Ultra Studio Monitor 3G, if you've got either of those pieces of hardware, don't necessarily upgrade to Sonoma right away. The other thing for you to consider is if you do have those pieces of hardware, you will need to be on desktop video 14.3. Now, I believe that there is, there are versions up to 15, but you need at least 14.3. I talked to someone who said that, uh, he was having trouble, so he downgraded, and he was going to wait for them to fix it. No, this is the fix. The fix is to upgrade to 14.3. So absolutely, if you've got a DeckLink card or an Ultra Studio Monitor 3G, then you need to um, go ahead and upgrade to that. So that's an important piece of the puzzle. In similar news, you don't have to wait for a fix for uh, Mac OS System 7 or for Windows XP, there is no fix coming. We've moved on. So we've moved on from desktop video 14.2 or older. So there's not gonna be a fix, a fix that solves that problem. So just update to 14.3. There might be security settings you need to agree to. There might be firmware that you need to install in the, on your DeckLink card. There might be several steps to the process, but once you get all that sorted out, it should be good to go. Uh, that is really the only problem that I've heard with uh, ProPresenter 20 could be that there are other minor problems that only a few people are having that are outliers that I don't know about. But as it turns out, um, I'm thinking that once you upgrade to that um, version of desktop video, you're probably going to be good to go. I've, I've been using it since uh, before the beta was announced, and I've found it to just have gotten better and better and better and right now I, I think it's just going to be a great version. So did want to get that out here sooner rather than later um, and so that's it. If you like this content you'd probably like my ProPresenter Quick Start course so head on over to tbm.fyi slash pro quick. Give me your name and email address and I'll make a login for you for free. Until next time, this is Paul Allen Clipper from TrinityDigitalMedia.com reporting live from the Capture Summit and CFX 2025. Go out and change eternity.